All right, let's move this out of the way. I'm sending you this uh, video email message because uh, thanks to Beverly Carter, we've discovered there was a problem. So I want to make sure we're all on board so that we understand what we're doing when I see you on uh, Tuesday. First of all, I have a mea culpa, an apology. Um, when I set up this class, I, what I, you normally do in Blackboard is you do what's called a course copy. and You basically just copy everything over from the last time you taught the course. Um, and then it all just comes in and you can tweak it and play with it. Well, when I did that, I see everything in a course. Um, and I saw all of these resources, but what I didn't pay attention to was whether or not they had been turned on. Um, and Blackboard, being Blackboard, um, sometimes does stuff like this. As you can see, this one's kind of grayed out down here. And that means that you can't see it. The student can't see it. This is meaning you can see it. And so Beverly basically emailed me, way to go, Bev, and said, hey, I can't see things in the Blackboard space. Well, of course, I immediately jumped in and looked around and saw the fact that, you know, these things were not turned on. And they should have been. So I turned everything back on. Now, let's remember what I said. Take big, deep breaths. Get rid of your test anxiety. We'll go over everything that's on the test on Tuesday night when I see you. So that we can understand that we all get the same ideas about the background knowledge. What I do want to show you though, is I want to move forward here and look at what we'll start on Tuesday. We will not finish it, but we're going to start it. And that is module two. This one's a fairly important module for a couple of reasons. First of all, we're going to talk about these three ideas, which I think form a foundation for truly developing online teaching and learning that has meanings to students. Once we understand those things, we'll move on to what I believe then becomes the, the framework that we'll work within, and that's the knowledge building principles you keep hearing me talking about. So, Let's look, though, what we're going to do Tuesday and what I need you to do before then. What I'd like you to do before then, and only that, is to go to our Schoolology site um, and make sure that you have joined. And Here's the code. Now, how do you get to the Schoolology site? We're going to be doing most of our work on Tuesday inside of it. We're going to leave Blackboard behind, give it a wave. Thank you very much, Blackboard, but we're not going to use you. Um, we're going to drop into here. And as you can see, this is Schoolology. And in here are the basic pieces that we're going to need. By the way, the reason why you see these is because I clicked on John a minute ago. Um, and then here's your assignment right here. Okay. Let me show you the steps so that you can become a part of this. First of all, make sure you go back here and make sure you do the code. So I'm going to copy that. Now I'm going to try to go in here as a new user. Let's see if I have any luck doing this. So I'm going to do a sign up. And I'm going to sign up as a student for right now. And I'm going to say I've got an access code Boom. Okay. And it's going to say, oh, okay, continue. And then it wants a username and all that stuff. So I'm going to go ahead and put an email in here because otherwise it's going to kick me out because it's going to say, hey, you already exist. So I'll go ahead and use my TWC account. Um, and I'll go ahead and give myself a password. I'll use a simple one because I can't remember them. Um, and then I'm going to confirm it. And then it wants to know my birth date. Well, okay. There you go. Everybody, you can see my birthday. I don't care about birthdays anymore. I suggest you start doing that too. Okay, and now we're there. Okay, and so I have make sure I do that. And 
da, da, da. by clicking here I agree to everything for Schoology. Okay, so I'm going to register. Whoops, I forgot my name. <laughs> uh, let's see, Steve. And I'm going to go ahead and change my name up a little bit. Just add another in. So it won't think I'm already there. Okay. And I'm going to go tell it my password again. Isn't it fun to see that I struggle with this stuff? And I'll do this again. And let's double check. I got a name. I got an email. I got a password. I told it my birthday. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Okay. Now, can I register, please? Close that out. No, I don't need to start a tour. Thank you very much. Okay. And if you go up to the top after you have, you know, gotten yourself logged in, you'll see courses and you want to join that course. So you just click join. There's our access code again. I guess I forgot to put it in. There we are. So now Steve Swan, double in, is now in our course. Okay? If that's confusing, we'll do it again in class to make sure we get it. What we'll be doing is, in class, we're going to be watching these little videos that are already here. So if you want to do that before class, feel free. But I'm going to watch them. We're going to watch them together. Um, and then we're looking at these three different ideas, paradigm shifts, constructivism, and inquiry-based learning. Um, I have picked those because I think they best represent what a framework for doing truly integrated, interactive, engaging online learning is all about. Okay, Your assignment sits right here. And the way it works is you get to do an assignment, and I'll show you how this all works in class. It's not a big deal. You basically just click on that where it says Submit Assignments, um, and you can either do the assignment in another format, like if you want to do it in Word, that's fine. If you want to create it right here, there you go. There's your basic little Word. Um, so it's, you know. This is not difficult. And as you can see, what it says on our assignment is in the class schoology space, leave a post about the topic. Foundations of online learning. Synthesize your reading, viewing, and discussions into a post about your understanding about how these three ideas come together to form or not form a new education reality. The post should contain at least three paragraphs with at least three sentences in each paragraph. Okay? So that was, I'll admit, a very quickie. Um, let's make sure we get it. So Monday, Tuesday, excuse me, we will go over the test together in class and then we're going to wave bye-bye to Blackboard and we're going to jump into here. This is our Schoology. We are going to then use that site to respond to the various pieces that we'll be playing with. Now we'll be doing that in real time. So be prepared to come in and leave post this discussion. As you can see, these are all discussion um, items that I've created here. And so you're going to be going in and you're going to be creating your own thinking about as we watch these. Uh, I'm going to encourage you to respond to things as we watch them. In other words, we can have a running discussion going on while the, the videos are going on. Um, that's a very important part of running a good uh, online synchronous um, encounter. You can basically have everything happening at the same time. It's a little, gets a little confusing sometimes when you have a big class, and we'll talk about that. I want to do this inside of Schoology, not because this will be the beginning and ending of teaching you about Schoology. We will do that in much greater detail um, in, uh, let's see, which module is Schoology? I believe it's module number five or six. Yeah, it's five. 
So we'll, we will go into much greater detail about what Schoology and Edmodo, what you do with them and how they work. Okay, so one more time. This is where we'll be spending a, the majority of Tuesday night after we go over the test. You will be asked to participate through a discussion uh, board as we watch these videos. If you want to watch them now, feel free. Um, but then when we move on, the assignment piece is going to be you responding to this. And we're not going to do this on Tuesday night, okay? Because I have one more thing that I want you to read before you put all this together. So we will not do this exactly on Tuesday. And my mouse has just died. Hey, see? You're not the only one. But he has an extra mouse that he can quickly grab and take over. So there we go. I hope I haven't confused you. You know how to reach me if I have. Um, again, those of you who may be suffering some kind of test anxiety, quit it. Uh, the only thing that you need to do ahead of time before Tuesday night's class would be go ahead and get yourself into our Schoology site. If you're freaking out about how to do that, don't worry. We'll go over it in class before we start running the videos and everything. All right. Okay. I will see you uh, Tuesday evening at 5. Bye.